Hello everyone, welcome to our monthly book review, The Names of God by Marilyn Hickey. Part of the book description says, tapping into God's infinite supply. The book description goes on to say that God's names reveal a different aspect of his nature. As God is so vast, one name cannot adequately describe him. Throughout the Bible, God revealed himself to his people through his various names. Our review for February is the chapter on the name Adonai. I am in the middle of a moving process and somehow my copy of this book got misplaced. Thanks to Audible, I was able to get it as an audiobook and continue my reading. Marilyn does not read the book herself, but no matter, it was a good listen anyway. This chapter has in-depth knowledge of the meaning of the name Adonai. It made me smile. It means master or owner. Marilyn also spends time explaining the plural aspect of the name and how it relates to the Godhead, being similar in that aspect to Elohim. Psalm 110.1 and Acts 2.36 are referenced. This part of the chapter confirmed how the Godhead is still beyond my understanding. During these times, I like to just read the text and move on, knowing that the Lord will give me wisdom according to his perfect timing. Marilyn did a wonderful job of gathering up scripture that describes the process of a bondservant from Exodus 21 verses 1 through 6, and how that relates to us as followers of Jesus Christ. She went on to describe Christ's role as a bondservant to God the Father, referencing Luke 22 verses 42 to 44, which is the account of Jesus approaching his crucifixion. What I really like about this book is the consistent reference to scripture and reflection on how it relates to us today. Verses such as Philippians 2 verses 5 to 7 and 1 Corinthians 7 (laughs) verse 22 were read out. Powerful verses about Jesus' role as a bondservant and our role, if we choose, as bondservants of Jesus Christ. I read beyond verse 22 in 1 Corinthians 7. Verses 23 and 24 say, You were bought with a price. Do not become bondservants of men, verse 24. So brothers, in whatever condition each was called, there let him remain with God. These words hit me often. You were bought at a price. Remain with God. I pray often that I don't use my free will to lose my focus. God knows there is so much distraction in this world. Even good things are no longer good if they take our focus away from Christ. I like how Marilyn makes a point of mentioning the terms used in today's culture to try and pry us away from the idea of being Christ's bondservants. For example, I am my own person. I am a free spirit. Marilyn effectively points us to scripture that shows the untruth in these terms and points to people like Moses, Abraham, Gideon, and Saul the apostle, who humbled themselves to the call of bondservants for the Lord. Towards the end of the chapter, she asks reflective questions and confirms through scripture what the real master, Christ, does for his servants. A statement she made stuck with me. When God is your master, he will see you through. This is something I've experienced over and over again. Fear and worry find no place in our hearts to rest when we proclaim Adonai to be our master. Praise the Lord. Marilyn asks her audience to say a beautiful prayer of commitment towards the end of this chapter. The first time I read it, I prayed along and it has been a comfort since. I will end this review with another scripture that was referenced. 1 Corinthians 6.20 For you were bought with a price, so glorify God in your body. I am really looking forward to our review for the next chapter, which is in March. Until then, God's peace be with you.